Hello, this is Jason again with a new updated version of the Archer build slash rotation. They've changed a few things, so I want to talk about the build first. It is now a Valor Luck build, as you can see. <clears throat> you want to try to get your perfect signets. I like this ring because it gives you that temper. And I always pump luck first, so I think it's a good one. You can choose your own orange ring. If you don't have an orange ring, four Reckless Fighter Signets will do fine. I still use my Burning Bow. Again, this is something you can decide for yourself, but I believe it brings the overall DPS up the highest. Still going to use my Armored Quiver. Anytime you take less damage. Reminder. Can save Regular your life. Um, I'm a big solo player, so again, you can decide what you'd like to do on that one. Also, as far as soloing, I still go wildfire arrow aim shot. <clears throat> if you have the time to switch, you can keep a set of aim shot single shots for bosses. You'd like to cap your temper and your crit chance. Temper is very easy to cap, especially if you put that ring on. I just showed you the orange one. Crit chance is fairly simple to crit, uh, cap. Another thing you definitely want to make sure you uh, go as high as you can on on the temples for a Valor Luck build is your persistence. Um, don't really care what anyone says about that. You can you can raise that thing up as high as you want, and it's OP. I kept a little bit of crushing blow. Never hurts to double your base damage. Um, you can still use Solidity <clears throat> as an Archer main. Uh, my stamina is fairly decent. As you can see, it's almost, well, it's 175 now. Nice. Uh, so Solidity is good. It takes turn stamina into Might, basically. Never hurts to have Solidity. All right, so they've changed a few things. Ability-wise, these are the abilities you want to use. Now that... Uh, now that abilities are different, you want to to use your sharpened arrows two instead of your electric arrows three, uh, because of the massive damage that rain of arrows can now do after a wildfire arrow shot. So, burning rapid fire. This one, your second, you can pick whatever you want, whichever one you like the most. I like this one because it gets rid of status effect, uh, movement speed status effect. Gas cloud for PVE. Um, in case you get swarmed by single bar mobs, you can disorient them. Uh, always a good last ditch uh, way to live if you need to. Then you want to do sharpened arrows 2, fire arrows 3, and electric barrier 2 now is not really debatable because of the new effects. You want that electric barrier to be macked out. Um, personally, that's my favorite. Uh, okay, talents. Deadly Downpour, super important now. Uh, arrow Storm hits really hard after a Wildfire Arrow, and you can use it whenever you want. Um, Bullseye, 200% more crit damage on Aim Shot. Uh, new, they changed that one. Very great. Um, electric Burns is always good. Uh, if you're fighting single bars with high HP, it's always good to stun them before you put out the fire with your piercing shot. Uh, it'll do massive deeps, plus everyone in the party gets a boost from it. Never bad. Easy target. Um, that's the piercing shot I was just talking about. 600% damage. Very good. Electro capacity. You want your barrier on as long as possible now. Because of this, increases a crit hit chance by 50%, and your concentration, which is your mana, Regenerate uh, six times faster, which is very dope. You always want loading mechanism no matter what. Biting flame has changed now. Uh, your burning increases Archer's damage, which means uh, if you set someone on fire, everything you do after that is going to do 50% uh, of the temper stat more damage, which you should be able to cap. Anyone can cap temper. It's really easy. So you're talking about 25% extra damage for everything you do if someone's on fire. 
if you have the last two slots, Update, I suggest loaded. Elemental Fusion and Superconductivity so your electric dot does more damage if you need it. Honestly, you, you don't. Um, PvP-wise, you do. It's really important in PvP, in my opinion. Um, so there we go. Abilities, talents. I'm going to leave it here for a second, let you look. You can pause and copy. Over. So now we're going to talk about rotation. Uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of stuff. I'm out here where the guys have a little bit of HP uh, so they don't die immediately. Um, for groups like this that I'm looking at right now, you're going to wildfire arrow. Then you're going to do your rain arrows, which is probably going to kill anything you come across uh, running solo. I'm going to jump off this rock and go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. So wildfire arrow. Rain of arrows, and then you want to aim shot. And believe me, aim shot now is ridiculous. 200% uh, crit damage is nothing to scoff at. It is OP. Here's another example. Honestly, though, you won't get too far in your rotations now. If you look at my last rotation builds, those are still work. They still will hit very hard. Here's a really good group right here to test stuff on. Um, you can still stun any single bar and do a lot of damage with piercing shot if you get that far, which I think I will on this one, uh, this group of people. So, let's see what happens. I like to target the guy with the most HP, obviously. Remember, Deadly Downpour is only going to activate... Once every 10 seconds for you. Cast your uh, fence. And you can fire aim shot almost as many times as you want. Over and over and over again. Look at that mana regenerate. It's not a joke. Boosh. You know, I didn't really have to go too far into my... I never even used piercing shot, which... As you... You know, if you've watched my videos before, that was a big deal. Um before and I could have used it instead of an aim shot and built more mana up I mean it's really just how you want to play at this point because the archer really got some hardcore buffs on him so let's do that again because this warlock is almost just like a boss I'm gonna do this now I waited for that dragon so I could use it again my piercing shot. Honestly, you don't even need to use your stun anymore for the extra damage because you just, it just hits so hard. Anytime you get that E, go ahead and use it. Use your E's when they pop up. If you get that burning rapid fire for free, you pop it. Pop it automatically. So now, I'm going to find a dude that's by himself, maybe. If I can, and try to do a more boss rotation honestly I can tell you the boss rotation you don't even need to see it you want to set them on fire always 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 set everything on fire first you're doing 25% extra damage on top of this if you set them on fire and then you want to aim shot aim shot aim shot aim shot aim shot and by doing that you you have to catch your fence so pretend this is a boss right here I would set him ablaze cast my fence and aim shot aim shot aim shot aim shot until I ran out of mana <clears throat> then you could do a uh, a rain of arrows Please or something build some mana, you know, and then do aim shot is your fence is going to last a really long time with the build I've showed you so you should be able to drop any boss that you're soloing with I messed that one up a little bit after an aim shot you can always charge your shot more if you want. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, it's going to hit a little harder. Uh, another, one more thing I want to talk about. People will tell you, they'll talk about dashing out of uh, burning rapid fire. Don't do that. You can right click. As soon as burning rapid fire bar goes under 50%, just right click back to your fire arrow and do another aim shot. And another aim shot. And another aim shot. I'm going to show you in just a second. 
You do not have to dash it at any of the archer's moves. You can walk right out of the burning rapid fire, and you can right click out of it, which is the smarter thing to do. And even though it looks like that bar is not charging when you right, right, left real quick, it is building up. And I'll show you right now what I'm talking about if I can get a burning rapid fire to proc. Cancel. Boosh. There's no, absolutely no reason to dash out of that. Another great thing about that, man, if you're, if they get close enough, you got your electric fence there protecting you too. Nothing wrong with that. And that was a sloppy run, but you see what I'm saying about the uh, right clicking out of the burning rapid fire. And that's about it. And um, as far as bosses, obviously, you really you are just going to set the fire, pop your fence. Uh, I would say set the fire first. Just go ahead and use that mana because you don't want to pop your fence first because then you're building up mana that you're already full. So set your fire, then pop your fence, then aim shot, aim shot, aim shot, aim shot, aim shot. If you get past that, put the fire out, reset the fire, and go about your business um, building up your mana again. And that will do you on a boss fight. So that's pretty much the new Archer build. You guys have fun with it. Thank you very much.